yesterday during worship service at church, at, at church. We were saying what a beautiful name and this hit me. Jesus has the highest, most exalted name in the universe. And what he did, he came down from heaven, from the highest place to the lowest place of man who died for other men. And then was given the name above every other thing in this universe. How he did that, I want to just read a few verses that back what I just said. It says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. So not choosing to become, come to earth as the next big king, like the next big, I don't know, Alexander the Great and Napoleon or some crazy ruler who like could rule over the whole world. He came as a lowly, lower class person. If that wasn't enough, okay, he says, taking no reputation, taking on a form of a bond servant. So someone on a very low level in society, coming in the likeness of man, being found in appearance as a man, humbled himself. So he was as a man and then humbled himself even further, humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross, which was even way more humility to take that. That's what they did to crucify, to um, punish the worst of crimes in their day, Ro crimes against Romans. Um, and so he humbled himself to that level, which was way lower than any other, what's the word? position in society and therefore God was also as a reward for what he did of his humility therefore God has also highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth that the and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father okay let's get a quick example let's say I don't know who the highest, biggest person is in the world right now. Well, let's say some big king, let's say a king of England, decided to not just become middle class citizen. No, he decided to be, to rescue someone instead of becoming a middle class citizen or whatever. He decided to become the lowest of the low. And then even before, past that, take a death penalty for someone. That's lower than the lowest. Now, obviously, and, and then his name getting so praised that uh, whenever you use his name, powerful things happen. I don't know. That's an <laughs> interesting analogy. But meaning, there's another verse in the Bible that says um, that God pushes down the, the, he tears down the proud and raises up the humble. Um, and really, and it says, also blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. There's... That verse right there is really exactly what Jesus lived out. He took he took on the biggest form of meekness. He um, is the greatest example of humility. Meekness, humility are very similar. And how he went from the highest position to the lowest of lowest positions for us. And that is why he received the most worthy name of all. That now anything has to bow to him. Cancer, governments, demons diseases, whatever it is, has to bow to his name because of his humility. The devil, on the other hand, thought that by raising himself up, he could become like God, it could be even greater than God. The opposite happened to him. Instead of willingly going out of heaven and then coming back to heaven with the greatest name on earth, he got kicked out of heaven and now is the foe underneath our feet, us who believe in Jesus. So, humility or pride, I mean, it's kind of an easy choice. Which one would you prefer? The consequences are widely opposite. But it, in our everyday life, it's so easy to get those stuff all blurred and then we forget about the consequences and just move in our feelings. But humility is something that us as children of God should have. Um, that's not just telling you guys, like, you guys better be humble. I mean... I have to be humble too. And if you didn't know that. It's... <laughs> but humility, not pride. That was that was it. That was what I wanted to share with you guys today. So thank you for stopping in real quick. Um, I'll see you next time.
Okay, okay. I just have to come turn off the camera because you won't. Yeah.